Hi there, Eric back at Naturopath. Thanks for coming back and looking at my videos. I have a question here from a person who wants to know how to prepare for a stool test. Well, it's quite simple. I may have already completed uh, this answer to this question. Have a look at my playlists and have a look at anything on stool testing or testing. You'll, you'll probably find some more information there. Best way to prepare for a stool test, really, uh, it's really a diet preparation that you want is the main preparation. So my recommendation for you is if you haven't already been on, you know, made a diet change, you stay on the current diet that you're on, particularly the one that you feel is not quite right for you. So, or, you know, that's actually producing symptoms or you're unwell on that particular diet. Follow that diet, do the stool test and then make some diet changes. If you previously, just before you're contemplating testing, if you just previously made a diet change, revert back to what you were doing you know, before you did the change and then do the test based on that diet. If you have, however, made a diet change, good advice is for at least five, six days or a week prior to the test is to, is to cut loose and eat on instinct. Eat according to your cravings. This will give me a better idea of what we're looking for in the gut. You know, um, think about it carefully. If you leave the back door open, unlocked, and you stand there long enough, if you suspect someone's going to come in, they'll come in. You've caught them out because you left the door unlocked. Same thing with your diet. If you eat the kind of foods that you like to eat and you've got bugs in your tummy, they will express themselves in high accounts because they got what they wanted. They got their food. So it makes sense for me you know, to give you that recommendation because based on my clinical experience, I always find this the best solution is eating on instinct before the test. Same thing with food allergy tests, blood tests. You know, eat the foods you love to eat before you do the food allergy test. Don't go on lettuce and uh, you know lamb and pears and that's all you eat for a week before the test. You should probably have a low antibody count to, to the real offending foods. So cut loose. Dietary supplements, it's important that you stop probiotic supplements for 14 days before any stool test. Two weeks. Antimicrobial supplements, stop for one week beforehand. That includes oregano, grapefruit seed extract, underselenic you know, acid, neem, berberine, etc., etc. Digestive enzymes you want to stop a day or two before the test. Most supplements you want to stop a day or two before the stool test. But the ones that influence the gut, several days before. And remember the probiotics, two weeks before. But you can eat yogurt and sauerkraut and kefir and kimchi and kombucha, all of those foods you can consume right up to the test. That's not an issue. They're foods, they're not supplements. Right? So, I hope we got that clear. That's the best way to prepare for a stool test. Eat on instinct, cut the supplements before the test, also try and complete the test on a normal working day. You know, Preferably I'd like to see you do it, for example, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, instead of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So pick typical normal working days for you or days where you would normally do the stuff that you normally do. Not a good idea to do the stool test on holidays you know, or things like that, but just do it at regular times. You'll get the best possible outcome there. So I hope that answers the question. Last thing I'll leave you with, stick with reputable labs. <coughs> I recommend Doctors Data or Genova Diagnostics. Those are the only two real labs I would recommend particularly doctors data in Chicago they would be my favorite lab we've completed a lot of tests through them and we get the best outcomes with patients using the best possible tests and I feel that is the best test thanks for the question